What's going on guys? So in today's video, I thought I'd show you all of the equipment I use to train calisthenics. Um, maybe some of you are looking to buy some equipment for calisthenics. So this video would be pretty helpful because I'm going to show you if I, I'm going to show you some uses for it and tell you if I would recommend it or not. So first things first, um, if you want to train calisthenics, I'd recommend if you're just a complete beginner, um, you sh probably should not buy any equipment for the first few months or so and actually just use the ground and just gravity when you're starting to begin because I recommend that you train with just nothing, just your body weight, maybe some home furniture. But yeah, don't I, I don't recommend buying any equipment when you're just starting out calisthenics because uh, you don't really need it. So yeah, so let's start off with these parallettes. These were the first things I bought after I learned the L-sit and the elbow lever and the frog stand, I 100% recommend buying these. Maybe not large ones like these, these are pretty big. You can get smaller ones, but the parallettes are so useful in calisthenics. They help you with so many things. You can use them for exercise to increase your range of motion so you can build even stronger muscles. So like, just doing push-ups, you can increase the range of motion because you are higher off the ground. You can also do it for like handstand push-ups. Um, holding a handstand, a freestanding handstand on parallettes for most people is easier. For me, I find it much harder. So I just do handstands on the ground and I do handstand push-ups on the wall with these parallettes. The parallettes are also good for most skills that um, that make it easier to be higher off the ground, like the L-sit, planche, 90 degree holds, really anything that makes it easier to be higher off the ground, these parallettes are super useful. So I 100% recommend buying these if you're getting serious about calisthenics. Um, I recommend learning the beginner skills without parallettes, but these do help once you learn them on the ground. So the second thing were things that I bought were wrist wraps. I don't actually recommend buying wrist wraps. I rarely use them, even at the beginning when I bought them. I thought they would be useful, but they're actually quite uncomfortable. And I don't think if your wrists hurt a lot when doing calisthenics, you're probably doing something that you are not ready for. So if you take easier progressions and work your and work your way up to harder ones, your your wrists will develop stronger without actually hurting yourself. So I don't think you sh need wrist wraps. That being said, if you are pushing yourself a lot and you're not really a beginner, you're more in the advanced stage. Wrist wraps do help a lot when you're doing insane skills like full planches, planche push-ups, because you are putting a lot of stress stress on your wrists. So wrist wraps probably do help at that stage, but as a beginner, I don't really recommend buying wrist wraps. So the third thing I bought was a weighted vest. I bought that thinking I would use it a lot for like weighted calisthenics, but having a weight vest on when doing like pull-ups or push-ups or dips is actually kind of annoying. It's really, if you're not wearing a shirt underneath, it really digs into your skin. Um, maybe it's just the brand that I got or the type of weight vest that I bought, but I actually don't recommend buying a weight vest if you want to do like weighted pull-ups because um, as you see later in the video, there is something that is much better for weighted pull-ups. But if you're just doing like, like weighted push-ups, a weight belt would be pretty good, but I, I don't actually use it ever. So I don't really recommend it. Even as a beginner, there's no point. So the fourth thing that I bought was a jump rope. This isn't really calisthenics equipment, but I bought like a whole bunch of jump ropes. I have like a whole bunch. I've gone through like three or four of these speed ropes. Um, I really love jump roping, but honestly, if you don't like jump roping, there's no point of buying it. Cause it's just, I just use it to warm up and I like it a lot. But if you have a more preferred way to warm up or do cardio, there's no point of buying a jump rope. So I recommend it if you like jump rope, but if you don't like jump rope, then <laughs> I guess I don't recommend it. So the fifth thing that I bought was 
a weight belt for weighted calisthenics, so like weighted pull-ups, uh, I guess dips. I mainly use it for pull-ups. So if you're going to try and do weighted calisthenics, like weighted dips and pull-ups, this is a must-have. As a beginner, you don't really need to do weighted calisthenics. You just use your own body weight. That should be challenging enough. But as you get stronger and your body weight, it's super easy for you. A weight belt for weighted pull-ups is a must-have. So I 100% recommend buying a weight belt if you want to do weighted calisthenics, mainly weighted pull-ups and dip. So yeah, if you want to get stronger in those areas, getting a weight belt is a must-have. The latest thing that I bought for my calisthenics journey was a resistance band. This is a nice and thin one, but it gets super stretchy, super durable. I use this for warming up my shoulders, but you can also use it for assisted um, exercises, like assisted pull-ups or like front levers. So yeah, I think everyone, even beginners, should get a resistant band, preferably one that is super durable, um, skinny, and quite stretchy. You don't want like small, short ones. Those aren't really useful, in my opinion. So yeah, getting a resistant band is super useful and I do recommend it. So the last piece of, um, I wouldn't really say equipment, but I guess large equipment. <laughs> I don't know, I don't really know how to classify it. But anyways, um, it is a pull-up bar, a nice freestanding pull-up bar with nothing above it. So not like a door handle pull-up bar, but a nice one with two posts and steel in between them. I built that with my dad, I think last year, and it is 100% recommended if you can build it. And if you can't, then a, pull, a door handle pull-up bar is more than enough. I just like being able to get on top for like muscle ups, uh, straight dips up there, and just play around, playing around with it, like freestanding, freestyle calisthenics. So yeah, if you want or can build a pull-up bar in your backyard or front yard i honestly do recommend it it is pretty expensive because you have to buy like the wood the steel the concrete dig the hole but i do love my pull-up bar and i use it like every single day so i can't really recommend it to everyone because it is pretty expensive but if you have the time and the money and you know how to build a pull-up bar then you should, I recommend it. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy watching this little video of me just displaying all the equipment I have. Hopefully this has helped you in any way if you were planning on buying equipment and if you weren't buying equipment, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe you gained some more knowledge. So yeah, thank you for watching. Smash like and subscribe. And